Welcome to our channel folks. In the ongoing KMS webinar series, today we are going to see how you can control access to your KMS keys through IAM roles and policies. Think of a scenario where you want to create a key and want to give access to only the developer and nobody else, then you can use IAM keys. Or in another case, there is a security team for an entire enterprise and who manage the keys for all the business units to access it then you want to create the uh, privileges like modify the key, schedule for deletion and disabling the key, all those privileges to the security team whereas all the developers will only have list to access or describe access or encrypt or decrypt access and everybody else you can have a deny policy. Likewise you can have another policy which can say only if the request is coming from a particular IP or a VPC endpoint or a private link then give access to my KMS services. So all this kind of privileges and permissions is possible by using IAM. Let us go ahead and see how we can do this. To begin with, I have created a couple of users. The first one is called as KMS admin. As you can see here, I have given a privilege. This is a managed policy and this managed policy allows this user to modify the keys and do everything with the keys. You can see here there is a full permissions for list, read and write. And likewise, this user can list other IAM users so that uh, this user can add some users to IAM keys or I'm sorry, KMS keys or remove some users from the KMS keys. Likewise, I've created one more uh, user. This user is called a uh, key user. So this is the uh, person who is going to access the key in his or her application and grant some privileges to the application to encrypt some amount of data or decrypt some amount of data. And for this user, I have given two specific privileges. One is S3 full access, M might not be required. You can have a very specific privileges. But for this demo, to make it easier to access the S3 buckets and upload some files, I have created an S3 full access. And uh, since we are going to do this demo through a GUI, I have given this uh, user a privilege to list all the keys within that region or within that uh, bucket so that we can see in the drop down that particular key is listed. If you are going to do it in an application, this privilege might not be required. You can just use an CLI also, but just to make it more visual, I just added this privilege. This is a custom policy that I have created for this user. So let us go ahead and create a key. So we are in the KMS dashboard. Let us go ahead and create a key. And I'm going to call the alias for this key as KMS IAM demo. I'm just going to use the same thing as description and advanced options. We are not going to choose anything. We are not going to use uh, cloud HSM or external key material. We are going to use KMS key material. So click next. I'm just going to say name and give the same tag. And who are going to be the key administrator? These are the people who will be able to delete this key, schedule the key for deletion, add other users and all those uh, God mode you can say. And remember, we have created a role for this and that's the KMS admin. I'm going to select that user and it gives a notice also in the bottom. Allow key administrators to delete this key. Click on next and who needs to access this key for encryption and decryption. You can see here, select the IAM users and roles who can access the CMK to encrypt and decrypt data. So we have created a user already, key user. So select that and remember what I said about the enterprise where the security team creates the keys and uh, let us say billing, finance and HR, all the other departments go ahead and use the keys. So if you have separate AWS accounts for all these departments, you can go ahead and configure and add another account and then give those account principles access to this key. So click on next and this is the key policy. So for the root user for the off the account, that person will have all the privileges. For the key administrators, you have all these privileges like create, describe, enable list and the last two are very important which allows you to schedule the key deletion and cancel the key deletion if you have done it by a mistake and the key user is coming in here you have the encrypt decrypt and recrypt privileges and also you remember you see here there is no list privileges that is why i had to add it manually on the user level itself and not at the key level so the grants for fine grain privileges at the application level so these are all added automatically we don't have to do anything just go ahead and click on finish and now you can see here it's list out all the users that we have all the uh, features that we have enabled it lists out here so in another browser i'm going to log in as the key user and let us go to s3 bucket and try to upload some files here i have logged in as a key user you can see the uh, username here and i have a 
designated bucket in the Ohio region. Remember, we created the key in the Ohio region. Uh, if you want, you can go back and check it out. So I have also have a bucket here. And if I go into this bucket, as of now, there are no objects are there. So one easy way to check it out, whether we are having access to that key is go to property section and you will have a default encryption here. Under default encryption, you have the AWS KMS option, select that. And in this drop down, we will be, we should be able to see the IAM KMS demo, the key that we created. So if you click on the drop down option that you see there, so I can set the default encryption for this bucket. So this user will not have access uh, to this key or no other user will have access to this key at this moment. So just click on save and we can also try and upload an object also. It should work. Now, if we move on to the next step, we will be able to choose the encryption for this object. And here we can choose KMS IAM demo key and then click on next and click on upload. So if we go to the properties of this object, we should be able to see the KMS key ID here. And this ensures that we are able to encrypt an object using the newly created key and this user has privileges to access that key. Let us see whether this user can actually go ahead and modify any attribute of the key itself. Let us go to KMS and remember we need to go to the Ohio region. So it's in Sao Paulo. Let us go to Ohio. Let us go to customer manage keys. Here we have the key. I'm going to select this key. And you see here, it gives me an error saying this user is not authorized to perform a get key. And I will not be having any option also. If I go ahead and click on disable, it's still spinning here because I don't have any privileges on this uh, uh, user to access anything here or modify anything here. So I will not be able to make any changes here. So let us see if I can add something here and try to save it. And you find that there is an error there. So this user doesn't have any privileges to make any changes here. So next step is let us log in as the KMS admin and see what that user can do and cannot do. Now we are logged in as the KMS admin. As you can see here, I am in the Ohio region and we have the key here. If I go ahead and open the key, we see all the attributes. And in case I want to make any modifications to this key, all I have to do is go ahead and click on edit. I'll be able to make the description changes here like we tried earlier. And let's just go ahead and submit it. It works. And if I want to say I want to add another administrator here, I will be able to go ahead and say add this administrator also. Or if I want to add another user, I can go ahead and say add another user also. All those things, all those privileges are there. And in fact, uh, you can have the more destructive privileges like put this uh, key into a disabled state. And if I go back here, you can see the status has changed to disabled. And I can also go ahead and schedule this key for deletion. So let us go ahead and do that as well. So yes, I want to delete this key after seven days, schedule deletion. So you can see here the status has changed to pending deletion. So that is how you restrict your access to different keys using the IAM policies. And you can have the IAM conditions to say source IP or destination tags or encryption context and all those IAM privileges that you have, you can use them to restrict your access. If you have any trouble in setting it up in your account, go ahead and put them in the comment section. If you need more help, write an email to us. We will be able to engage with you professionally and fix your problems. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.